Hi, friends. Welcome to chapel, the first chapel of the year. Can you believe it? It's not what we expected. We were hoping to be in person, and hopefully that day will come soon and very soon. But for now, you get to be in community with your classmates. We can make this good and holy if you just follow a couple guidelines. We're doing things a little bit different than we did last year. So listening ears on, because I have a few announcements to make. First of all, at the very beginning of chapel, in a minute, one of you will stand up and light the candle that was provided for you in your classroom. Don't worry, it's not a real candle. It's not an open flame, it's just a light. You just turn it on at the bottom. And as that candle is being lit, if you will, we will say a prayer together. After that, hopefully, you will have one of these. You can follow along. You have lines, they're important, and so you'll want to have this with you. At the end of chapel, your teacher will collect them and keep them for the next time we gather like this. Third, and this is gonna be different, but I know we can do it. When it comes time to do the reading at the very beginning of the service, I will give you the cue, and then a candle will be on your screen. That is when you know that somebody in your room will stand up and do the reading for the day. It's a little different because I, it's not me giving you the reading, right? But you can do it. That way you can listen to one of your classmates read from the Bible, and that's pretty special. So, without further ado, could the person appointed to light the candle for the day please go to the classroom candle? And now the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Dear God, here we are. We light this candle because it reminds us that you are always with us. For the blessings of this life, thank you. When things are hard, help us. Help us be a light in the world. May we be kind and generous and good. Amen. And now if you would stand where you are, Take a couple deep breaths with me. Follow along. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now, a reading from Scripture. Whoever is appointed in your class, please stand and give the reading. So, that was weird, right? <laughs> Sometimes scripture really throws us a curveball, and today was one of those times. You heard it, right? Jesus is saying to everyone, eat my flesh and drink my blood. Sounds gross, right? Well, bear with me. It's okay. We're going to talk through what he means. This is a picture of a loaf of bread, isn't it? My husband bakes bread, Thomas's dad, and so much beautiful work goes into it. The ingredients are simple, right? Flour, yeast, salt, water. That's it. But when done right and prepared so carefully, 
it turns into something beautiful. It rises in the oven, it gets hot, it smells good, it tastes so good when we eat it, it nourishes us, it gives us energy. We need bread. Anybody ever had one of these? It's a grape juice squeezer. You know, one of those pouches. Or one of these, a juice box. Now, we don't make juice at our house, but juices like bread, it's made from very simple things. Or really just one simple thing. Fruit. Fruit and thyme. Those are the two ingredients to make juice, or as Jesus was talking about, wine, which is like juice for adults. Am I right? So when Jesus is saying, eat my body and drink my blood, He's not really talking about, like, gnawing on his finger or drinking a cup of his blood like we're vampires or something. No, 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 no. Put that out of your mind. I want you to think about bread, and I want you to think about juice. Jesus is saying, everyone, you have this common experience. Every time you gather around a table and eat bread and drink wine or juice, Every time you do that, remember me, Jesus is saying. And don't just remember me, but know that as you're remembering me while you eat, which is something we all do every day, while you consume this bread and drink this wine, know that like the bread, which you have now eaten and swallowed and digested, it now lives in you. And in the same way that when you eat and drink, that food and that drink gives you life and energy, so does Jesus. Jesus is saying, if you remember me while you're eating, then I will live in you. I'll be in your heart. I'll be in your mind. I'll be in everything you do. I'll never leave you. And you guys, that's really good news. It's such good news to know that God is always right by our side. I mean, it's why we're lighting candles, right? Just another reminder, the bread and the juice, it's just another reminder that no matter where we go, we can't escape God. God is with us when we're happy and when we're sad. God is with us when we have joy, and God is with us when we are mad or grieving, when our heart hurts, or when our heart is happy, God doesn't go anywhere. That's what that whole scripture piece was about. Not about really eating flesh and blood, no. It's about bringing God into our lives and remembering that God never, ever leaves us. We can't run far enough. God is always by your side. And that is good news. And now, if you would please stand and join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Turn your sheet over. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Holy and merciful God, we give you thanks for bringing us to this amazing day. Comfort us, 
guide us, be with us. Help us be your eyes and hands in the world. And may we never forget that you love us more than we could ever ask or imagine. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and between you now and forevermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go in peace. I'll see you soon.